Well, I got cut off. I got an important phone call, and so I, I'll just have to continue this uh, this video right here, you know, where I left off talking about the rich young ruler, how hard hardly it was to enter into this kingdom by trusting in riches. But I don't by any means want to uh, comply that I don't believe there's any rich man uh, uh, that, that have, that are entering in down here upon this earth that are pressing into this kingdom down here. But, you know, look, Job, what was his end? He had, uh, he certainly was not a, a poor man. He lived over a hundred something years later. You know, he lived on for a hundred something years. And then, uh, uh, look, he had, he had uh, 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, and a thousand uh, yoke of oxen. And a thousand she asses and uh, grandkids. So uh, I'm certainly not saying that, uh, the, that uh, there aren't any rich men down here that pressing in. Of course, Job was put to the test, and uh, and uh, God decided to bless him on the rest of his life, uh, twice as much as what he had. But anyway didn't want to get too far away from the subject at hand, which, which is uh, this kingdom of heaven, brothers and sisters, that can be observed down here. And I believe you can observe the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is within you, uh, brothers and sisters. It's within his people. And uh, if you're looking for a, uh, a building, you're not going to find it necessarily. You might sign some of, some of his people in it that... Uh, uh, manifest this this kingdom of heaven in their lives if they're members of this kingdom of heaven but anyway uh the kingdom of heaven is within you i see it in all kinds of different i see it in the in the, the faces of children i see this kingdom of heaven when somebody's kind to somebody else the, the, this i see the kingdom of heaven when uh, they suffer there's people that suffer long in their bodies uh, and, but at the same time, they're kind to one another. Uh, jo uh, Job, Job he, the captivity of Job was turned when he prayed for his uh, friends. You know, uh, Job's friends were uh, were God's uh, uh, were were born again children of grace as well. They just had uh, a works <laughs> a works. Uh, uh, Theology, you know, it's something you did wrong here that caused all this problem, you know. But it, uh, like you say, right there at the first, before all everything happened, all the calamities happened to Job. Uh, he was, uh, uh, God was bragging uh, on Job, you know. Have you considered my servant Job? So, brother and sister, we're servants of God down here, and God. Uh, is uh, <laughs> looks like he's uh, he was uh, uh, very pleased with Job even before he went through his gr these great ordeals. And uh, you know, he said, uh, what did he say? He said, uh, uh naked came I into this world, I'm naked, I'm gonna return. And uh, he held fast to that, brother sister, although he did make some mistakes over there. Uh, uh, with his tongue, you know, he wasn't no perfect man, but uh, God was pleased with him. But anyway, we just want to go. Let me get on next to the, uh, the what I was talking about, this kingdom of heaven, uh, and it talks about it over here in Acts three twenty one. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God has spoken by the mouth of his holy prophets since the world began. So uh, this is Acts 20, 21. Well, this is what's going on now, brothers and sisters. The heavens have received Jesus Christ. And, uh, and, 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 and uh, the restitution of all things apparently is not completely... Uh, taking place yet but uh 
Then over there in First Corinthians, here's what's going on now. What do you think's going on now? Where you know where is this kingdom of heaven, and what's what's going on right now? Well, First Corinthians 15, 25, and twenty six. For he must reign. Who is reigning? Jesus Christ is reigning. All power in heaven and earth is given unto Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters. Whether you uh, uh, can observe it or not, whether you've been blessed to observe, observe it or not, all power and everything, every everything that happens, is moving toward that great day when uh, everything will be brought to fruition on the very last day, brothers and sisters. For he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. So, brothers and sisters, when this 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 enemy of Jesus Christ called death, the the final when that is put away, it'll all be over with. We'd be in the glory world with him. But anyway, there is this kingdom, brothers and sisters, whether you are observing it or not, which I did not observe most of my whole life, but I've but if Every once in a while, I get a glimpse here and there of this kingdom that uh, that uh, has been set up and is, is and is going on right now. For He must reign. Jesus Christ is reigning. The old devil's not reigning. Uh, we sometimes we get caught up on YouTube. <laughs> I do myself sometimes with all this evil that's going on and all these uh, posers in high places that. Uh, that uh, seem to be calling the shots, but that's not true, brother. Uh, uh, the wrath of man, you know, it's like the rivers of water. He, these kings' hearts are in the hands of the Lord, like the rivers of water. He turns it whithersoever he will. Their wicked action is was going to be charged to them if they're not a child of grace. And, but he's going to turn it and he's going to work it like he wants it. If, when something looks bad, it ain't always bad. But anyway. Just want to get on here and talk about this. Well, he must reign. Who who must reign? Jesus Christ. He's at the right hand of the Father, ruling and reigning right now. Everything that happens has a reason. <laughs> There's a reason for it all. I believe uh, Alison Krauss said in one of her songs. I thought that was a good uh, good saying in that song. Uh, one, I think one of the people in her band wrote it, but I thought it was a good song. There must be a reason for it all. Brothers and sisters, there is a reason for it all. To everything is there to season, time to every purpose under heaven. And, and uh, there's a reason behind uh, the good that happens that you that we call good and the bad. There's a reason for that too, brother and sister. So the old devil is at a great disadvantage. And uh, at the appropriate time, everything is going to be brought to fruition. But anyway. I wanted to get on here and try to finish up that first video that I made that I got cut off on. No, there's some rich people that are going to be in the world to come that God uh, gave uh, great wealth to. But uh, I was pointing out that the uh, that it, uh, Jesus said that uh, it's a hard thing for... Uh, for that. He wasn't talking about uh, the uh, being a child of grace. He was talking about entering in down here to the kingdom of God in this in this uh, uh, present evil world, you can enter in, brothers and sisters. You can uh, see His kingdom. In, uh, as as you walk through this uh, uh, worrisome land, anyway. Peace and love, brothers and sisters. This old boy down here in Alabama.